start with the latest American to test positive for Ebola, a New York City doctor in isolation as we speak. The doctor had been treating Ebola patients in the West African nation of Guinea. He was out and about in New York before his temperature spiked yesterday morning. ABC's Lana Zak joins us live with the latest. Good morning, Lena. Good morning, Rena. This morning, the disease detectives have identified four close contacts that they are going to be actively monitoring. While the bowling alley that the patient recently visited is being completely scrubbed, they're taking no chances. Here in New York, the words no one wanted to hear. Today, testing confirmed that a patient here in New York City had tested positive for Ebola. Inside Bellevue Hospital, 33-year-old Dr. Craig Spencer, who had been in Guinea fighting Ebola for Doctors Without Borders. He returned to New York via Brussels last week. Early Thursday, his temperature hit 103 degrees, one of the first signs of Ebola. EMTs in protective gear rushed him to Bellevue Hospital, which had spent recent weeks holding drills, preparing for the possibility of Ebola striking America's largest city. Is this a worst case scenario, Ebola in New York? It's, it's really not. New York City has one of the best health departments in the country, so they're, they're better prepared than I, I would think just about any place in the U.S. Though many in the city are on edge, the governor wants to reassure the public. Uh, that it's here in New York, it's more frightening. New York is a dense place, uh, a lot of people on top of each other. Uh, but the more facts you know, the less frightening the situation is. And even though we now know that Spencer took several subway trips, we're being told by public health authorities not to panic about that. It is extremely unlikely that he could have transmitted Ebola to anybody else on those trains. In fact, any sort of transmission from a, a dry surface to a person has never been found. Rena, TJ? Yeah, that's a good reminder. Lena, how is New York better prepared for this than, let's say, Dallas? New York, being an international city, was always preparing itself for this possibility. So it has been training all of its doctors, its, uh, its health personnel, as well as its first responders. And they believe that they have put very strong protocols in place, including eight different hospitals throughout the state that were um, ready to accept any Ebola patients. All right. ABC's uh, Atlanta Zach Forrest this morning uh, has a lot of people concerned, a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. But again, like the governor said, there, the more you know, uh, the less worried you are. So just get the information out there um, and we shall see.